Hello everybody and welcome back to another stream. Whoa, why is my my settings are being really weird? Hold on. What is happening here? Sorry about that. I don't know why this is happening. Um, I am testing a new stream setup today. And, uh, Hopefully this lets me um, This lets me stream to both YouTube and Twitch At the same time We'll see how successful this is pretty soon. Looks like it's working. It looks like we've got it working. Surprisingly, which is it? Pretty awesome. Hopefully the quality is. Hopefully we got some good quality. I tried. Tried changing some settings on my YouTube stream, but it wasn't really letting me do anything. For some reason, it's not letting me edit my stream. I'm not sure why. But we're just gonna roll with it for now. At least we've got the multi stream working. So that's a plus. That is a plus for a real. I just need to do something real fast. Sorry, it's taking so long to to start. Okay, we are good. We're all set. Let's get back into Dave. Let's dive right back into Dave the Diver. <laughs> Hope everybody's had a good day today. I did stream earlier today. And uh, I'm gonna say it was a very successful stream because we got a few people jump in few new subscribers, I think, new followers on Twitch, uh, reached my goal on Twitch, follower goal. So now there's, uh, we have 10 followers on Twitch, which is great, amazing. Um, what am I doing? I think I'll have to wait a few days, right? Yeah, he, I'm getting new gloves from uh, Dr. Bacon. And uh, we gotta go underwater. You can only dive once a night. That's fine. Need 
to get some eels or something. This is my first time diving at night. It's gonna be scary. I'm actually extremely terrified of the ocean at night. <laughs> it's got really, really creepy vibes. What the heck? These fish are attacking me. What the heck? I'm... I'm... scared. They're so aggro. I, I didn't expect these little guys to be so aggro. That's what we're looking for right there. Oh no. See, this is why I don't go into the ocean at night. There was shark. There's no uh there's no oxygen. There it is, there it is. Wow, everything is out to kill me right now. I don't like this. Every single thing is trying to kill me. See, this is why you don't go into the ocean at night. These are all new creatures, aren't they? It's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna upgrade my harpoon. Probably not a good idea to shock an shock an eel. Probably not the most effective. I was doing some research into eels the other day, and they're basically built just like batteries. Well, the the electric ones. They have like a cells just like a battery. And uh I think they also generate electricity through movement. But that second thing I'm not so sure about. So, uh, take it with a grain of salt. They're actually really cool, but really disgusting looking, in my opinion. I don't really like anything resembling uh, snakes. It's just... I'm not a huge fan of snakes. Or snake-like creatures. That side-to-side -side minigame always gets me. Always catches me off guard. For some reason, it's harder to me, or for me, than uh, than mashing the X. Wow, 
how everything is just hostile. But he's not taking any damage. He's impervious to bullets. Alright. I think we're all done here. So, let's go up. Pretty sure I can just swim to the surface and it counts. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Moray eel. Clear fish line fish. Clear fin line fish. Black tip shark meat. Box jellyfish. And we got the approval of the chef. Now we can go to the to the bar and get everything set up. All right, let's serve this one since we have people wanting it. This one as well. Um, let's do it by taste. Enhance this? No, 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 no. Alright, cool. Do I have enough research points? Yes. Oh, that's, an, that's a new animation. same people as last time. Why don't we upgrade Billy here? Looks like he's going to give us something for Oh, I just noticed. I hadn't changed my microphone input mode. That's my bad. Now we have some binaural ear to ear. Sorry about that. I completely forgot to change the settings. And, uh, Does this sound good? Alright, let's get ready for business here. I'm gonna let them gonna let them serve the drinks <laughs> wow they pulled a ratatouille that's the taste I remember I'm glad you like it the food brings back memories one time a young man who lived with a sick mother in my village was bitten by a moray eel keeping them from going into the sea any longer. I was 12 then, and I went out into the pitch black. 
darkness and blanched a harpoon into that moray eel's gills. I brought them to the dead moray eel and the mother made me moray curry and thanks. Thinking of that woman's kind eyes brings tears to my eyes. In any case, thanks for the food. That was some fantastic cooking. Alright, I said I'll tell you something nice, right? Nearly forgot amid all that nostalgia. Come see me in the empty lot behind this building. It's kind of sus. What the heck? She starts crying. Why are you crying suddenly? It's too good. This is way too good. Damn it, it's so good. It reminds me of my father. What's going on, kid? My name is Maki. I'm looking for my father. My father left to explore the depths. And I can't get in touch with him anymore. His favorite food was kombu and white trivali ochazuke. And I heard you saw it here. I thought he might have come by here. That's a pity. I'll be sure to tell you if we see someone that looks like your father. And what is that doll? This is a Cleon plushie. My father gave it to me before he left. Oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about the Clion. I've never seen one in person. Would you catch one for me? Ha, uh, Clion? You can't catch something so small with a harpoon. What do we do? Could we use this? Oh, a net. I think it might work. Alright, I'll give it a shot. What are you doing, Morris? Get your tights on and jump in the water. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry, I can't control my emotions that well yet. Oh, now we can capture little seahorses. You can now use the bug net to capture small creatures like seahorses and clown, which can't be caught with a hard harpoon. That is great. I've been looking forward to catching those cutie pies. Well, the servers are way faster than me. I am super slow for some reason. What, we didn't make that much money? Oh, uh, it might be... Well, no, it's not the expenses because the expenses are calculated differently. We're just making less money for some reason. Maybe because we, we stayed open less because I was diving at night. Did you sleep well? Yesterday, I told you I'll tell you something good. Take the boat and come behind the restaurant. Okay. Let's see what he has to give us. What is this? Fish farm? Wow, what is this place? Looks like you're doing quite a lot of hard work catching fish every day. So I got to making a fish farm and I finished it in a single day yesterday. A single day? In any case, this is where you can grow fish and also let them multiply. I'll explain slowly, so listen closely. 
first come over to the first section. Fish farms need to have the right environments for their fish. Each section has fish from a different depth. This is where you can grow fish that live at depths 0 to 50. Each section has limited space and once the density reaches 100 or more fish can fit. Of course you can pay a bit of money to expand them. Each section is equipped with its own camera so you can look inside. Now come along. Oh we get like a little fish tank now. Nice isn't it? I added a few fish to start you off. It's like an aquari aquarium. Just staring into the water is enough to make you feel all peaceful inside. But that isn't the purpose of this fish farm, of course. I'll teach you how to pluck them out so they can be eaten. Pay attention. Fish in the farm can be sent to Bancho Sushi to be used as ingredients or sold directly. Even if you fail to catch fish because you are so busy exploring, you won't need to worry. But how do we add fish to the farm? Simply catching them will kill them. Good question. You can fund them by collecting fish eggs. If you capture some fish alive, you will sometimes get fish eggs. Those eggs will automatically be sent here. Oh, and one more thing. If you have two or more of the same type, they can also multiply. I placed two fish, so you should be able to see the results tomorrow. Try coming back tomorrow. When catching fish, you'll sometimes acquire fish eggs. These can be hatched in the fish farm. If hunting isn't a viable option, try getting ingredients from the fish farm. Just wait a day, Dave. I'm sure if new fish will be waiting to greet you tomorrow. Alright, now you have a fish farm. But he said we have to catch them alive in order to get fish eggs. Here, these are special diving gloves made in our research facility. With this, these you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? Enter the water. I love getting new, new, uh, new gear. Objects, objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. First, try grabbing the pile of rocks over there and dropping them. That's a weak wood, so you should be able to break through. Oh, what? Very nice. Let's try going down. all the way down there. The current's strong. Grab that anchor so it won't sweep you away. Good. You can grab onto objects like that to anchor yourself. That'll come in handy in places with strong currents. I see something shiny back there. Grab the stick in front of you and pull. those timing mini games. Oh my god, I'm so bad at them. Awesome, since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming up. That's a treasure, and it's just a little ball. <laughs> Looks kind of like garbage to me. Looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come very handy. No pun intended. I heard that the sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out the steak. Oh, 
Oh, that curry looks good. <laughs> what the heck? The ocean has such vast mysteries. I think I'm a little drunk. This guy is such a lightweight. I mean, Jesus. All right, so let's see if we can upgrade our something. I mean. Save up some money. Collect Clion. Am I saying that right? Clion. I don't know if I'm saying that correct. We have to get rid of these, right? I think it's better to just knife them. Ouch. I'm, uh, I'm kind of clumsy right now. I'm not sure why, but it's uh, kind of bumming me out. Where are these clowns? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing the name right. Clion. Cleon. Guys have have so much health. He's going to be but they also have a lot of meat, and I think it's our highest, our highest upgraded dish, which makes it the tastiest. Alright, we've got enough lionfish. These diving gloves should be able to pick up sea urchin. Sea urchin sushi, just the thought of it makes me drool. Oh, and it's full, it adds three stars. Oh, little seahorse. That's cute. Okay, let me focus on... Let me focus on the mission here. I also want to find clowns. How far down do I have to go? You guys already know I get easily distracted. Oh god. What the heck? I don't know, this is not the time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please don't kill me. Oh, thank goodness. Lucky break, we found some... Some oxygen. Before death. Alright, I'm gonna try and get this guy. Shoop. 
Nice moves. Alright, now we keep going down. These uh these sea people are actually kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why. Why we're dealing with them. They're jerks. And I would rather not. Uh, which way do I have to go? This guy is really after me. He's relentless. What a try hard. What a try hard. Is that a Kion? Chambered Nautilus. Oh, there's a Kion. Come here, buddy. We need five of these guys. That seems a little excessive, but okay. Okay, two. Um, we don't have to go this way. Oh yeah, we do need the, the flashlight still. We could pick up the uh, the reeves where these warm things come out of. Gonna lose some starfish. I feel like I'm gonna need them. And we got ourselves a cutscene. That pile of rocks is moving around. Hey, what's going on, Iker? Welcome to the stream, nice to see you again. Oh, it's the octopus. And he inked me again. How are you doing, Iker? Ah, the octopus from last time. It's spring ink again. I won't let you get away this time, just wait. The octopus returns. Tough luck, my dude. I'm, I've got some diving gloves now. And, uh, oh, we'd have to break this twice. Yeah, I remember you. What's going on? Welcome back. Great, the path is clear. Just wait, you octopus. I wonder if this is a shortcut. Hey, how dare you spray ink twice. I won't let you get away with this. Ask Bancho for Tokoyaki. Come on, he's gotta be stuck. I think he did open uh, a shortcut for me. Hmm, he dropped something again. It always leaves something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Hey, thanks for the sub. How you been? Say that Rhino Kim Mary Day. Kim Mary D. Yeah. 
What a uh, what a name. What an amazing name. Rhino Kaim Rhino. I don't even know how to say it. What does this sign say? Oh god. Do I know Roblox? Yes, I do. I play Roblox sometimes. Why do you play Roblox? We're getting close to the capacity of our suit here. afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the stick if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon who lives on land. Bacon. In our language that name sounds like spoiled well meat. Mm, okay, wait a moment. Let me try and pull. Pull out the stakes, more, more than one. Simulator. What about you? I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. It's all going to be. Mm, there's no movable device over there. I'll, t I'll have to go check it out first. Looks like we gotta go over. So let's see, maybe this is the way. It looks like you gotta go up through here. They always have to make it annoying, huh? Lightning Harpoon level three. Rubber chicken. It's a good thing we're not encumbered today. I decided not to be greedy. Uh, it's paying off. What is this? What is this? Grenade launcher. This gun fires a grenade that will explode underwater. The grenade travels along an arc. That's an MSGL type launcher. It's a multi-shot grenade launcher. I think I did go the wrong way. Uh, I'm just gonna insist on going this way and hopefully it works out. someone who's streaming. Facility over here. 
Hmm. Is this a sea people building? The door is locked. Oh god, I'm encumbered now. Oh, and these things are rank 2, or rank 6. Oh my god, I'm still encumbered. Which one of these? Should I drop? I don't want to drop this one. I can't believe these guys are so heavy. Seven? I'm just gonna drop one of them. We don't need... We don't need two yet. Really need to upgrade my carrying capacity. Alright, well, this was a waste of time. But kind of glad I did it, because I found a new weapon type. And now I'm running out of oxygen. Please drop some tank. I was a little scared. Got a little scared there, but I got lucky, I think. I was dying, but now, now I'm good. I was running out of oxygen. I feel like this is gonna have a tank. Maybe. No. No tank. Good thing we found that Z shell, cause. Would have been dead otherwise. Hmm, there's nothing that can be done on this side. I have to try going around back. Oh shoot. Okay, hold on. Just let them group up. It's all good. We're just gonna ignore everybody and run through. And looks like that's not a good idea. Make sure to watch my oxygen levels. Oh, I'm dead. That 
think we're I think we're still good. There's a stick in the back. There we go. Wow, human. Good, we have a path. You're more useful than you look. The village is very close. Coming through the horn just you just made. Wait, I can leave now, can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you. So I would like you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village Mave? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to, to the Human Sea. I have a request. Okay. I probably won't play Roblox for a while. I have too many games I'm working on right now. Okay, let's refill oxygen. Ice some tanks. It's I'm, uh, it's, I'm getting real spooky vibes. Something just moved past me. Come on, I had to be on the lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Nah. They're really dragging it. You sense a dangerous presence. Oh no, I don't have the... Hold on, I need a better weapon for this. Oh no, I'm not. I don't have enough oxygen. Alright, let's just do it. Hopefully there's a weapon in there. Oh, my controller died. That was not a good time, please. I've been ignoring my coffee. It gets cold so fast. It's already room temperature. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Oh my god, it's gigantic. Those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? Because he's scared, man. It's a trap. This guy's been plotting. I'm never gonna kill this thing. A wolf eel. What is that? There are wolf eels that big. I don't think I can run. So what am I supposed to do? I'm running out of air. Looks really tough. The shining spot on its tail looks like we could on the rest of the body. Shoot. Alright, 
we're just gonna have to wait for this. We're just gonna have to wait for him to attack. So we only get one shot. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we got this. We got this easy game. a game I'm not sure not sure but I've been playing it for a few hours and it's not that expensive and it is extremely well done and really fun ow just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too too late. You're stronger than I expected, human. Now you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead. Wolf you kill. I feel like she got banished and uh, she was like tasked with fighting this thing. We're finally back to the village entrance passageway. You have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... Just kidding. I have it here in my bag. I thought you would ask me to take you again. <laughs> this guy's traumatized. Me too, though. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. Sounds like a good idea to me. We finally made it into the village. See people village. Why is it so not dark? It's all bright. Wow, so this is... That's right, this is the sea people village we live in. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait. How did a human get in here? Ah Wong and Na Wong. I actually know somebody named Na Wong. Hmm, Ramon Su Wong. Were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzing awaits you. He's lost. Sweet to worry about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Allow me. I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. This guy is such a liar. 
Is he always trying to take credit for my hard work, huh? Goodness, Robin, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? <laughs> your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. Blue manatee. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I just got that. I just got that. It took me a second. I was like, what? <laughs> Why is he always getting roasted? What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Ramo, I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, while the ancient texts have all been lost, and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. There are wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Another huge tremor? See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. So Wom said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him, not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well... Even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the village's trust, I'll consider your suggestion. Hmm, the village's trust. How does he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? Alright, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring. If you can come back here tomorrow, you'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? <clears throat> Chapter 3 Hmm, since you say you helped my daughter Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're human. Use this. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. This Sea People mirror once installed will let you instantly travel to this village. Wow, is such a thing possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of the relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. <clears throat> it will recognize your face, so only you will be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Why is my voice so deep? <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, man. Thanks for hanging out. 
see you and see you around. And I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find villagers. Hmm. Teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Okay, so we gotta swim all the way back. I don't like the sound of that. Why don't we just get teleported? We got a lot of new fish to try out. Oh, and a new relic too. Octopus weapon charm. A mysterious weapon charm left behind by the octopus. Maybe something cool will happen if it's attached to a gun. Wrap up your day. I guess I'll install the sea people mirror on the boat. He said I could go to the sea people village with this during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Oh no, look at the time. A bunch of sushi must have opened already. I should drop by and check if anything of note happened. Looks like I arrived too late. I should do a little cleanup. What happened here? Looks like I missed a lot. Ms. Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, my work ended just now and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on despite the hour. Bancho seems to have gone home already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what it was about. Oh, it's nothing that she could have. I simply avoided mentioning it, mentioning it with present, with him present, just in case it's still a sore spot for Boncho. I'm thirsty. Can you give me a glass of beer? I don't know how to do this. Perfect. Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a f view of the sea at night, like this. It's a drink. Wait, what? It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night, like this, as a s as I drink. Ah, okay, okay. I felt like I had a stroke just now. I couldn't understand what it said. I'll tell you now a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. I will reveal some backstory lore. This is the Dungong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left the reservation. A troublesome customer? Do you know the actress Louis, Louise Lois? Lo Lois? Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Louise Crawford, she was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her movies haven't been doing very well. The manager had spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country. 
and that he was very used to servicing those of high rank. But many VIPs sought his services. However, Dungong, Dugong, 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 am I saying that right? The hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations and many notable films were shot here. Many people were seeking that sort of old era nostalgia and used our services and we had a very high standards for the services we provided. I've heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky, but we are a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issues if she comes. So there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prices as well. Just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. It appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria Hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? I suppose we can refuse the reservation, if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Our hotel's strengths are our long history and tradition, as well as our high quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need clean rooms and services that match her tastes. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as it. I also check on the state of rooms and about who will receive her. I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you, with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. Italian or French? Our hotel provides Italian food like a bistro, and in a, in a la carte style, we serve pasta or pizza with a simple wine. The chef learned to cook in Naples and his margarita pizza was good, but it didn't really go well with the dinner curse, of course. Japanese. Dugong's hotels. Japanese food has never been a strong suit. We only served udon or simple tonburi. We've been making exponential progress, however. After we hired Bancho, we've grown quite dramatically. Bancho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food has was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bancho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be alright? Hmm, Bancho's skill is indisputable, however. One great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. 
We're dealing with the infamous Lo Lois like Crawford after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Mancha. I agree, best of luck, Yoshi. Bancho, are you here? <laughs> he looks so different. <sighs> Ms. Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here, that's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look, all you want, it's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Bancho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the resume were top tier, but Bancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to hunt. He could always be found in the kitchen busy with something, day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Oh yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Bancho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Bancho, would you be willing to try servicing a, B a VIP? That's right, we have an important guest who will increase our reputation. Or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. She's an actress that's infamously hard to please, and also a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also got customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say that I should try and please the speaking woman, Lois Crawford? Yes, this is important, as Dugong's hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Hmm, <laughs> what do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal. And that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright. We'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Banjo. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guests. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi, when it comes to servicing food. Kaiseki is a traditional Japanese dining method. An hors d'oeuvre. How do you even say that? I have no idea. Small dishes, sashimi, soup, grilled food, and steamed food are brought out in order, followed by rice. It allows you to taste many kinds of food and is regarded as the quintessential Japanese meal. What do you think of the Kaiseki course? It's traditional. Kaiseki is a form of art which utilizes many dishes to express a unified theme. That means using soup, grilled food, steamed food, and deep fried food to express a theme. Doing all that is impossible in its current kitchen. All right. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means it'll probably, probably be better to employ a Western course format instead. 
though it'll be a bit different from the traditional method i think i could add soup i'm always do over it sashimi side dishes sushi tempura and dessert to be to the course what do you think not bad so what will you make for each dish <sighs> sleepy. There's a soup to begin with. They have like some jazz music playing. Yes, I think that'll be fine up to the sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. Hmm. It's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far. So this is where we like, this is where we add a little spice. I've been researching on this very topic. How does something like this sound? You must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark. Sharks can be, can sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. This is a time of year when they grow fat, boosting the flavor. The meat and the cheeks in particular has a lovely chewy texture, which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. But shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. That is the best. That it is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure if it'll be okay. I can't help but think it's not that great of an idea, Bancha. Hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugong Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there is no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person after all. What a pity. I understand. I'll go with the shrimp tempura then. Though it can't compare to a shark. He's gonna serve the shark anyways, isn't he? Oh my god. Why am I so... Yawny. Keep me yawning. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Banjo. Hmm. He's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, tight lipped are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words. <laughs> He seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the wall as well. Furnishings at Glory Hotel, however. Kish, kitsch, quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention to let your stay be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu.
These are pickled olive flounder fins. The fins of the olive flounder have been pickled in a mixture of soy sauce and peppers. Raw fish from the very first dish. It really is Japanese, isn't it? Is that salty taste supposed to be... Is that salty taste supposed to disguise a fatty flavor? Even so, this is too salty. As that is a hors d'oeuvre meant to stimulate the appetite, I did give it a stronger flavor. And the next dish is... Shark head. So the tempura and lizard are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. That sort, that the sort that's commonly served with rice. The desserts, no doubt, the usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? How, how do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? Even so, I'm sure that our food is better than that of most other restaurants. The pic picked? The picked? I thought it said pickled. Am I tripping? The picked olive flounder fins at the start of the course were interesting, of course. But serving pickled fish as an appetizer, I mean, really, a salad might have been even better. Well, that's how it is with Japanese food. They always bring out some obscure rule of dish followed by boring fish cut and arranged all nicely. Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. Ignorant of that fact, we served you Japanese. My mistake, please accept my apologies. Whatever. It wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. Um, may I have a word? Pancho. Allow me to introduce myself again. I am the master chef who works here at Pancho. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? Now, now, Pancho. Miss Lois here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, oh gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you want is today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can objectively be called good. Bancho, you can't be talking about... Hmm, so you're saying you have something else you think it will satisfy me? Alright, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. <laughs> so until you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. This is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god. This is... You fried the whole head. It is an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't even cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredient. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What are you saying? Take just a bite. I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I am not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Dugong Hotel? Jesus. It's all my fault. I apologize. Now, Bancho Yoshi, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lois. I should have been more vigilant. 
The looks are not on their institute. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lois? Bancho, now isn't the time to. I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank? Or a punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. It's going to be horrible. What a brat. After that, Bancho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It's my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was the stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Bonjo focus on his cooking. a lot of rating. Oh, Dave. You weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio, either. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. Y you what? What happened? Well, you see... <laughs> He's gonna lose his mind hearing this. I see, I envy you, I do. What a lucky experience. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but... As you said, only one person can use the sea people mirror. What a pity. What an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Yes, I'll have to use the Sea People Mirror first to visit their village. You can use the mirror Tenzin gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People Village. The mirror is solar powered, so it is unable to be used at night. If the fish in the farm yesterday, they multiplied. Hurry on over to the fish farm. I've marked the sections with new fish with hearts so they're easy to recognize. Go and see for yourself. Wow, the mysteries of nature never cease to amaze me. I'll tell you once the eggs hatch. I'll mark them with hearts if fish have multiplied. Speaking of eggs, I'm reminded of my son, who I haven't seen in a long time. You have a son? It was a windy and rainy day. I went too far out on my ship, and the storm flipped my ship over. I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. Oh, I didn't know that. Alright, I'll come by often to check. Thanks to you, Otto, I'll feel much less pressure to catch fish. If you have two or more of the same kind of fish, there's a chance for a baby fish to be born. Um, so what? The cardinal fish are the ones that multiply? Let's see over here. 
fish types being grown. Long nose saw shark. Um, I thought you only got the eggs from capturing them alive. Ah, oh, okay, let's see. Open area. Expand area, expand area. A thousand dollars. I'm doing it. That was a lot of money though. And we have some eggs. Rhino Kaima. Rhino Kimeri Day. Rhino Rhino. <laughs> I give up. I don't know. I don't know how you say this. It looks like I've been logged out of. Out of, um. second to check something out real quick all right looks like good um what am i doing okay Change this to this. Okay, there we go. So now we have a new section. That was pretty expensive though, a thousand. This time pass if I'm not going in. I want to go to the restaurant and uh, and feed the cat. I haven't done that, and I think it does something. Oh, look at him eat. He can only be fed once a day. Alright. Now we can go to the village. And continue our journey. I wonder what it would feel like to teleport. Alright, so we have to listen to everybody's requests. And increase our reputation with the village. Yep, the food at Mi Mama's is so good. It's really different than the food at home. Where do you get your ingredients? I've been coughing a lot lately. Hot soup is just right for this. How do you eat soup in water? Humans ask such strange things. <laughs> well, well. Are you the human we've been hearing rumors about? You don't look as scary as I expected. My name is Mima. I run a restaurant in a village. I'm Dave. I'll be helping out at the village for a while. <laughs> Receiving help from a human. I never considered it a possibility before. Let's see. It's not like I can ask you to cook. Hmm. My goodness, I forgot. Ha Wang and Ha Wang ordered lunch boxes. Oh, well, the gatekeepers that were whispering earlier. Yes, would you perhaps take the lunch boxes I left in front of the door? They should still be on duty at the gate. 
I will gladly help you, Mimi. I will gladly help. Okay, so there are the entrance. Let's go find them. Human, what is it? Uh, I was asked, asked to bring you these lunch boxes. These are from Mima. You didn't add poison on the way here or anything, did you? What? What would I? What would I give it a year? Good work, I suppose. Jerks. What are they whispering over there? This is what I've been craving. I love the taste of this food. What, human? How long have you been peeping, you treacherous creature? <laughs> treacherous creature, what? Whoa, look at this sign. Does it mean I can ride a beluga here? How do you... How... How do you do it? I guess you have to uh, raise your reputation. All right, we delivered the bo lunch boxes. Oh, you delivered them, didn't you? Humans are not half bad. I'll tell you if I need something done again. We've got a new currency type. 15 out of 100. Oh man, each one is only going to give me 15, right? Okay, what's this? Seed shop. Are you that human? Human, not human. You look interesting. You don't even have fins. He reminds me of someone. What is this shop you're running? I saw various seeds here as well as flowers to offer to King Long. King Long. My goodness, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. He is the great king who saved this village from disaster. It's very difficult to hold a conversation with you, you know that. Go and offer a flower to King Long first. The tribute flowers are on a platform outside. Take one. Alright, we gotta pay some tribute to the king. Um, where is he? Oh, I love the giant dumpling on top of the restaurant. Oh man, I would love some dumplings right now. That just sounds delicious. Steamed dumplings. Full of pork. This, so this statue is of King Long. It's the same person as in the painting from the record chamber. I guess I can put the flower on the platform in front of the statue. I've done what he asked, so I should go back and talk to him. Kinda like the vibes in this village. I also like how the game is like... Oh, it's got some 3D elements. Oh, I can swim faster here without wasting uh, oxygen. I did peek a little and it seems you did okay. Even so, I can't just trust a human who doesn't even know what King Long has done. Go and do a bit of reading or something. Okay. What's next? 
I like the vibes of this game, really. I really do. I need to find more cozy games like this. We got a little bulletin board here. Request board. Got some children playing. Oh my, I've never seen a human before. You have legs just like a crab. Don't pop out of nowhere like that. See my gills pumping. Tenzin said you could stay here, right? Well, don't wander around too much. I've lived 200 years and this is the first time I've seen a human. What are you doing here? doing here oh you know just sightseeing you're the human that's been wandering up about our village right what fancy decorations what is this place we see people work hard every single day this is a place of pleasure for the hard-working villagers <coughs> so I can't come in right it's alright. Species is no barrier to enjoyment, is it? Oh, Lingshan. Alright, you're helping out of the village. Isn't that right? Yeah, I guess that's how it is for now. I've been needing to help with something. This establishment operates seahorse races, which are extremely popular. The recent earthquake destroyed the general quarters and all the seahorses have run off. They should still be in the village. Here you go, catch them for me. Come to think of it, Maki gave me a bug net. I think I could catch seahorses with it. Well, look at you, human. I'm sure you had a lot of trouble coming all the way down here. Nothing like a few games to get your adrenaline going when you're tired, eh? Play a game with me. <laughs> this is a game of sharks which you play with Junok remember the shark cavity that you'll sometimes get a glimpse of numbers between 1 to 3 are selected and whoever touches it first will lose what uh, I don't think I understand Of this game. His fingers all bandaged up. I guess he plays this a lot. Alright, so we got one, two, three. Which one am I supposed to touch? Oh, I thought you had to touch it first. Okay, I get it. In this game, you try to find the hermit crab that hit the burrow. Guess which of the fast moving hermit crabs hit the burrow? This top right guy has it. Alright, 
can't blink. It's all going to be alright, alright. I'm kinda good at these. It's all going to be okay. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of good at these. Uh, let's play again. Top left, got it. Gotta blink. Okay, let's see. Yep, keep following it. Got it. Easy money. Is there like a... Is there an achievement for this? This is troublesome. All the seahorses escaped. We can't hold races and it's tough putting food on the table. Look, I'll find your seahorses. Don't freak out. There's gotta be one behind this bush. Oh, there isn't. I'm shocked. How many horses escaped? One, two, three, four. Got it. Well, I don't know how far they went, so... Sometimes the developers are jerks and make you walk a lot. They like putting on the furthest corner of a map. And that's the one you get stuck finding for hours. They just put it on some random place that doesn't even make sense. You know. Hopefully these guys did it, and we find the horses in some reasonable locations. Let's see, oh my god, look at the manatee, that is, this is a sick farm, I love it, look at the manatee go. What is he doing? He's like dropping a seed or something. Alright. We're on a mission right now. Like, yeah, I can't get distracted. You're getting in the way of my farming. Okay, sorry. Jeez, bro. Um, something tells me they're gonna be inside buildings. Keep a lookout for some seahorses. I'm gonna check the buildings just in case. What do you sell? Guess I haven't unlocked services. I'm scanning everywhere for, for seahorses. Maybe I missed one, but I haven't seen any yet. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, so they're marked. It's not supposed to be like a an annoying quest. Because they mark them for you, so. Okay. These guys are still eating their dumplings. Yeah, I think there's gonna be some inside these shops. Let's find out. Yep, there's one right here. And 
and hopefully there's another one in the new Leah dumpling shop. Ah, oh, this, this dumpling is making me hungry. Slurred. Mm, I don't see it. Where else could it be? There's another shop somewhere, right? What if we look up here? Watch, it's gonna be somewhere like really high up. Let's see, maybe there's another shop we didn't go inside of. Wait, I feel like we can use this teleporter to go up there. Ah. Yes. Maybe it's up here. Let's look around a little bit. seeing it. Let's go inside this tower. King Long. King Long Shrine. King Long Shrine. Come on, little seahorse. Where are you hiding, bro? make my life annoying. Fuck. I already checked the blacksmith, right? I'm gonna check again just to make sure. Alright, there's no seahorses in here. So, where is this guy? See, I knew the last one was going to be really annoying. Oh, man. <laughs> He's not over here. I already checked. You know what? Let's go check the palace. But watch him be somewhere really high up. Wait, maybe I already have... Oh, no, I don't. I'm missing the last one. He's red. little red guy red little guy okay I'm gonna check in here inside the palace hopefully they'll let me in oh there he is wait he's not red Should have checked the cas the castle earlier. I don't know why I just walked past it. Well, cool. We got the seahorses now. Now we go turn in the quest. Thirty credits. Hopefully, this one gives me like twenty or thirty. I mean, it was quite a quite a long quest, so it's a pretty big favor we just did for them. Well, well, you brought back all the seahorses. They were quite difficult to find. We can now resume our seahorse races. Ah, twenty. Okay, that's it. I'll give you a seahorses. Thanks for your help. Wow, where can I get one? Go speak to Yami, who you can find in front of the race course. Oh my, you're the human. I'm Yami, I'm in charge of the seahorse race course. 
I heard you cut all the seahorses that ran off. Thank you so much for that. I heard from Lin Chen already. We'll give you a nice strong seahorse as a gift gift for your efforts. Jay your cars. We can now do seahorse racing. I've seen many seahorses like this elsewhere as well. Can they also race here? Of course, bring them to me and I'll register them for the races. Since you're here, why don't you try registering your new seahorse? This is where you can register seahorses you've caught for the races. Why don't you try it out right now? Good. Next, select the race menu to get ready to race. What the heck? This is where you can select the course and begin a race. Since you're new to this, I suggest selecting course C for starters. Um, this is where you can see the participants and check who you're up against. Well then, show me select a, race horse, a seahorse for the race. This is where you can select one of the seahorses you've registered. All the seahorses stamina is really important. Always make sure to check the arrow on the right. Once the seahorse is raised, they need to the rest to recover their stamina. You should have several seahorses ready for the race. Let's go with this one for now. Looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Pilots, cheer to increase their seahorse's speed and win the race. If your gauge goes past green, slow down, so be careful. There are different grades and types of races. Hurdle and combined races offer greater prizes. This is amazing. Oh my god, you gotta press. We lost. <laughs> oh dear, I must have not provided an adequate explanation. Don't worry everyone, it starts off like this. It's rigged, bro. We need a better seahorse because that guy, yeah, I don't know, he wasn't, he was enough for it. Alright, so we have 50 credits, now what? Not sure what we do. Why don't we go to the castle? Okay, this guy is still made, maybe? No. I thought maybe he would have a glass star. Would let me use his services. But no luck. I guess we go upstairs. Somebody in here has got to have a quest for me. Or, you know what, maybe... Wait, do I have to win the race? No. I might have to come back another day. I feel like that's the case. I can have to come back some other time.
looks like it's gonna take mm, two two day one more day to get to fifth to a hundred. Um, let me see over here just to make sure. Maybe somebody else has a quest. No, these guys don't have quests. Alright, yeah, so you might have to come back some other time. Unfortunately. the afternoon so we get one more shot at one more shot at uh, diving was I really just drunk how embarrassing nice to see people hard at work so late what do we have oh the grenade launcher Not enough materials. Uh, oh, that's how we upgrade multiple different skill trees slash paths. Got it, got it, got it. Um. Giant wolf eel. Horses. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Oh, there's like rare ones. That's sick. Um, we need more clown, clown. Um, these only spawn at night. I'm not sure, but I hope not. I did not enjoy swimming around at night. I've, something tells me that these sea urchins are going to be very good. Now we have to collect all the different seahorses. Find some clowns. Oh, and those are seahors. Jaya cars. Let me go hunt some tiger. Uh, some shark. Got some kajin. I really should upgrade my my little um, harpoon. It's going to be Ouch. I think we have to go farther down. Another Pacific Seahorse. So, so far we have Pacific Seahorse. Jaya Car Seahorse. Wait, I can just knife these guys. And we need five. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, let's find the the sharks. Find the sharks. Find the clown. 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 I don't know how to say it. I'm just gonna keep calling them clowns. Oh, another one of these guys. Cutscene. Oh, the pink dolphin in the back. I thought we were over. We were done with these guys, but they love me. What do you what do you have for me today? Now your friend is trapped, huh? Ah, oh, the pink dolphin I met before. What if it gets caught by Pocha again while wandering around alone? If we raise awareness about it, can we maybe make it harder to poach? I should take a picture and get it published in Weekly Fish. Something tells me that this is just gonna make it be more sought after by poachers. Come on, make that little heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is gonna be tough. It goes away really fast. He's gonna do it right over here, I think. We gotta time it perfectly. Oh, that's hard. Okay, so it's it's like right around here. I'm between these two. Right in this nook right here is where he does it. She does it, I should say, maybe it's a girl, I don't know. Okay, come on. Do it. Oh, that is a perfect, beautiful shot. Perfectly timed. Wow. That was a perfectly timed shot. And it was all uh, in focus. And perfect. Hey, what's up, Caitlin? Nice to see you again. How are you doing? Alright, let's get more of, of these guys. And we can hopefully max out the recipe. And hopefully maybe even get an achievement for it. Oh, sharp Japanese sword. I like it. Where's, where are the sharks? What? That is sick. I'm inked. I'm inked. I I'm inked again. Wait, the shark might be a little bit higher up. I'm doing great. It's been it's been a good day today. It's been a good chill day for me. Stayed home all day. Made myself some amazing rice with beans and the and the eggs. And some some sausages, you know. I need to make a sauce. I think that's what's missing in my life. A good sauce. I think if I had a good sauce, life would be great. 
Where are these sharks? Why am I, am I not getting a shark spawn? I don't know if I should go lower or higher. Be like lower. Lower was the right, correct choice here. Let's get some sea urchins going. Let's get some sea urchins. I guess they're a delicacy or something. I don't know. I thought sea urchins were poisonous. But I guess people like eating poisonous animals. I wish you could permanently change your melee weapon, that would be nice. Need some arroz con leche. I haven't had that in a long time. I used to have it for breakfast sometimes. But I haven't had it in a long time. So does it like help you with stomach bugs or you just did it to be nice? Well, I don't know where the shark is, but I'm giving up on finding it. Now we need to find the clowns. my dash? Did I unequip the bracelet by accident? That's unfortunate. All the ones you buy in the store suck. I don't think I've ever had homemade. Does it take long to make it? What's uh what's what's the recipe? What's the what's the step by step here? Maybe I'll make some myself. Okay, we need two more. Where are these little guys? They have to be around this depth. There's another one right here. Oh, so you just did it to be a good friend. That's nice. I see a huge clown. He's not gonna like me collecting all these. These are probably its babies or something. Watch, he's gonna attack me as soon as I collect this, this guy. All done, should I go back up now? Nope. Now you get to fight these hands. Oh, oh wow. Now where the heck are we? What is 
Jesus, please. Okay, let's Oh no, that's such a big Clion. Clion Queen. Probably won't get away without a fight, but whatever. What to do now? Oh, I don't have my dodge. I'm screwed. Oh god. Jesus. That was close. Good thing I had this upgraded to the max. Or monster. Still stinks. Let me see if there's anything useful to pick up. Hopefully I can carry this back. Got a photo. I see something shiny over there. So let's have a little look. Maybe we get a new weapon in this crate. No. But we can disassemble this. Get some parts. A photo of Maki. I'll have to take it back up. What is the meaning of this? Why, why, why do creatures in this have links to outside characters? All right, let's get out of here. This is your great grandmother's recipe. Okay, some cinnamon sticks, lime peels. How much? How much milk do you need? Use this ingredient. Keep an inventory. Okay, let's keep them as inventory for the race. Ooh, we got some... Some eggs, that's nice. Rank 99? Oh, you brought a picture of something, can I see? Wow, a pink dolphin. It's so adorable, I'd like to take it home. I'm kidding. Great, then let's name this dolphin Pinky. And get people to notice. Them vultures won't be able to catch it so easily. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. I feel like doing this is just gonna draw more attention to it. And more people are gonna wanna hunt it down. That's my humble. That's my humble view on this. What am I? Okay, I kind of need that. I think. Wonder what a rifle is. Enhanced destructive power. I don't know what the fire modifier, if it's good or not, I don't know. What the heck? The normalist version of the Clion, which lives in cold waters. 
Despite its cute appearance, it turns into a monstrous creature when it hunts prey. Rank 99. I love the shiny cards. Um. <laughs> Wait, let me fix my... My charms here. Okay, now can I one two I can't even afford it. Wow, oh, I can't believe how chilly it is. I don't think we have anything multiplying yet. We have some some eggs in there. Giant Trevally egg. We need more saw. Soft. 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 Sharp. I don't know what they're called. Turn off the heat once you pour in the condensed and evaporated milk. It's so beautiful, thank you, Dave. And I found this. Is this a photo of me? There was a huge clown. I found this in its home. There's a button on the back. I'll try pressing it. Maki's father. Did he get eaten by the gigantic clown? Mikey, it's your father. If you're watching this, then I've probably failed my expedition. I couldn't really take care of you with my busy schedule. My greed for more work has turned me into an irresponsible father. You haven't been able to make many friends because we kept moving around because of my work. Even so, I want you to forgive me for being a terrible father and live a confident life and your dream of becoming a chef. I hope it comes true. I'll keep watching you from afar, so don't ever lose your smile. Yeah, no, that's tragic. Seems to have cut off. Don't be too upset. Seems like your father really loved you, Maki. <laughs> That's crazy. How do you even just tell her? Don't be too upset after she finds out her father is dead. Please let me work here. What? So suddenly? Yes. My father wouldn't like to see me so lethargic and sad. I want to show him what, that I'm doing fine and working hard. And as if she showed concern for me and helped me, I'd like to help you as well. Hmm, Bancho, what do you think? What a spirited child, I like her. You can start working here today, but you won't be getting any special treatment. Yes, okay. I'll work, I'll work hard to learn and become an amazing chef. That's the spirit. So this whole time you have it on medium heat. What? Sea people? It's hard to believe that something I've only heard of imagined is real. Is there a good beer in that area? I wouldn't mind trying some. I don't think there will be drinks on the water. Looks like this is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. This 
The crepid place can't possibly make sushi that will inspire me. I just have to fill my belly with that with what I can get. What a rude customer, what do you want? Allow me to introduce myself. I am the movie director of Michael Bang. Wait, didn't you direct Robot Samurai? Looks like your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great action film director Michael Bang. I can't believe he's talking like that about himself. I'm filming my new movie, The Stone, around these parts, and I can't seem to get the ending scene right. I think I might find new inspiration with food that'll clear up my head. Doesn't seem likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. Wait. Robot Samurai was an amazing movie. I watched it multiple times and was moved every time. All I can remember is explosions. If you can make another such great movie through my food, I'll be willing to cook for you. I'm also your fan. I'm grateful, but can you pull it off? I've got high standards when it comes to sushi. The rice they use in these parts is terrible, by the way. That's why we use the best rice we can find in this region. Give me three days. I'll prepare food that will make your head hot but explode with inspiration. Well, alright, I'll be back in three days. Don't disappoint me, Chef. Any other questions? Is, uh, I think I I think I have all the, all the all the information I need. Thank you for for sharing. so sleepy it's already almost 3 a.m i'm gonna finish this and head over head on to sleep cooking is an art form and although the pain of an altur i'll prepare food that will inspire him however as he said the rice i use is the unknown rice of this region it bothers me that the ingredient has limits when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. I've been listening in to your conversation. If it's rice, I think I could come up with something. Do you have an idea, Hara? Give me just a day. I'll be in touch in the morning. Hmm. If we can get high quality rice, we can make sushi with three kinds of fish. Titan tiger fish, trigger fish, harlequin hint, and coral trout. That's a lot of ingredients. He appreciates flourish. Please don't be late. Michael Bang's inspiration. <laughs> oh, that's why they call him Michael Bang. We have a new employee. What is this? Cooking. We need a razor. We must raise our level in order to hire her. It is time for me to go to bed. 
but thank you guys for hanging out. Thanks for the new recipe to try. And uh, hope you guys have a good night. See ya, see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm off tomorrow, so I might stream early again. I want to do like a morning stream or an afternoon stream and then a night stream. But the afternoon stream I can only do when I have the day off, so. I gotta take advantage. Good night, everybody. <laughs>